But I wanted to really do my album. I wanted to have good players. I knew in order to do an album and have good players, I had to get out there. I joined the Academy of Country Music organization, and that was Dick Clark was in charge of that. Basically, the other one was the California Country Music Association was another one that I joined. I would go to the events. And at the California Country Music Association, they'd always ask me to come up and sing. They had competition. And so I joined their competition, and I won. I won the first year. I won, like, two awards. I'm going, okay, well, this is fun. And I'm hearing players and getting people together that I know that can do my project here, my album, my first, my first album. One night, there was these people playing. And we went to this club, and there was a guy. It was bluegrass-type music, but a little bit of variety of everything. There was a gentleman, and he could play the fiddle like nothing I ever heard before. And I've been on the fair circuit with the Flowers, as we heard all kind of instruments and all kind of people. And even Mr. Flowers played a little bit of the fiddle there, you know. But nothing like this. This man was just wonderful. He made it sing. And I knew I wanted him on my album. So I walked up after he got finished. I was so afraid. I really was. I mean, I was singing and doing all this stuff. And, oh, no, this just... I said, sir, I said, you are wonderful. His name is Byron Berline. And I said, can I ask you if you would play on my album? I'm getting ready to do an album and... I really would love for you to play on it. I, I, it's my first album. I don't have a lot of money. I, you know, it's not a lot in the budget, but honestly and surely, I, would, I want you on it. And he said, yes. And he gave me his number. <laughs> I just was like... <laughs> Byron Berline. So we had the fiddle player. And what's different about him was he had five strings on that fiddle. And I'd heard the, a story about five strings before when I was on the road with the flowers is Grandpa Jones from Hee Haw. He was one of the people that we opened for too. And he had five strings on his banjo. Another thing about Grandpa Jones, he rehearsed right before they went on. He would go back and forth and back and forth rehearsing that banjo because he was so hyper when he did his act. Although he was playing Grandpa Jones since he was in his 20s, the, the character Grandpa Jones, and he looked like an old grandpa. Oh, he was like, he was hyper. It was fantastic. Basically, once I completed this album, 